Hello everybody and welcome to my quick guide to Iras Oculus on normal mode in Lost Ark. This is the first tier 3 abyssal dungeon, it has two bosses and it's actually rather chill. You can, for the most part, just do this dungeon blind, there are no hard wipe mechanics but there are still some things that are beneficial for you to know before you jump in. So the first boss is called Frenzied Cicera and the only time this boss will become a problem for you is if your DPS is either very low or you have a ludicrous amount of stagger damage in your party. Because whenever you stagger this boss, by depleting the stagger bar underneath its actual health bar, he will gain a buff. If this buff ever gets to 3, he will go mental and start one-shotting people. Now to prevent this from happening, you actually have to look out for this attack right here, where the boss will slam in all four directions and then do a big AoE in front of him. Because every second time he will do this ability, he will at the very end attempt to grab someone and if he does that, it will lead to a stagger check and if you break this stagger check, it will remove one of his stacks. So the easiest way to do this is to simply watch out for this attack and then make sure someone stands in front of him so he can grab them, which leads to the stagger check, which then removes one of his stacks. And that's pretty much it for this boss. It is very simple and it only gets easier with more gear because the more DPS you have, the less you have to worry about staggering him enough to where he will start one-shotting you. The second boss is called Lost Seto and he's an absolute clown, quite literally actually. Now most of the mechanics of this boss are quite literally don't stand in red or in some cases blue. But there are some mechanics that are more dangerous than others. The first one is this right here where the boss will incapacitate everyone and show a sequence of button presses on your screen that you have a few seconds to perform form otherwise you're gonna be hit by an AoE that does a solid amount of damage. Another one is this right here where the boss will start spawning balls all around the arena and you need to destroy as many of these as possible because if you leave too many of them up the boss can actually wipe you. This is a wipe mechanic but it's very much on the easier side of things and it's pretty hard to fail. So the best thing you can do here is just spread out and AoE them down. Another attack that's pretty deadly is the hard stun which you can see right here where the boss will stun everyone with this ludicrous overlay and then proceeds to spawn AoE on top of everyone. This can do a lot of damage especially if you're stacked up so as soon as this is over mash spacebar to the chat of it. And finally we have an attack that I've never seen the boss do but I know how it works so let me employ my superior MS Paint skills to explain it. So throughout the fight the boss can imprison 3 out of your 4 players and then hit them with an AoE. So what needs to happen is the 4th player needs to break the map out before this AoE goes out. However, once this AoE does go out, the fourth player will be imprisoned instead and the other three people need to break him out before that person is hit by an AoE. This is the reason why you don't want to spread out too much throughout the fight because it's gonna make it much more difficult for that one person to break all of you out. It's also why flame grenades are recommended for this fight because it doesn't matter how much damage you do to this imprisoning bubble, what matters is the number of hits. And flame grenades leave an AoE on the ground that ticks every 0.5 seconds. I'm genuinely sorry that I don't have the footage of this ability going off but I only have one character in T3 and so far I've only been able to do this dungeon twice and the boss just didn't want to do it. But anyway that's pretty much it for this boss and for the Iris Oculus dungeon as a whole. And I thank you very much for watching, as always guys I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I will see you next time, bye bye.